As in, they are both naked? Uh, and yes, and, and various forms of undress. Yes. <laughs> various forms of undress? They Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm 29 years old, and I'm from Capitol Heights, Maryland, PG County. I'm Eugene Sims. I am from Washington, D.C., and I'm 33 years old. My name is Dorian Jackson. I'm 28 years old from Annapolis, Maryland. And that's it? That's it. That's the first, the first bit. What's your first thought when you think of black men? Like, what's the first word that comes to mind? <laughs> Powerful, dynamic, protective, father figures, misunderstood, misrepresented, um, disproportionately incarcerated. Oh my god, we're amazing, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's probably the first thing. Uh, I, I think we're great, if nothing else. Um, Sometimes lost or lonely. Usually strong, intelligent, kinks. Strong, but not given the opportunity to be tender or show emotion. Do you feel that by nature, mm -hmm. black men are monogamous, naturally? I don't think anybody is monogamous by nature. So you think it's a learned behavior mm -hmm. to develop a monogamous relationship? Mm -hmm. I don't want to ever like pigeonhole and say like uh, by nature black men can't be monogamous. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about relationships. How long have we been really able to be in relationships that are monogamous like heterosexual relationships? Not long. Mm -hmm. Anybody, honestly, anybody can be monogamous. Even after you start dating, when you, and you do go out, we couldn't get married until a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. So then there's no goal, a monogamous goal. You're not getting the, the, the tax breaks, the recognition, the right. things that to help you set up a family, the things that can help you live together and be, and, and be substantial. You didn't have that before. And so for me to compare monogamy between black gay men and, and heterosexuals of any race, to me, doesn't seem fair because we're not playing the same field. Mm -hmm. And it's I, we don't have a history of building monogamous relationships because we weren't able to. And so how do you reteach an entire subculture that my best understanding of the question we always lead with the best intentions mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you always get the greatest outcome do I enjoy monogamy for what it is yes mm -hmm. uh, what are three things that you could advise for a same gender loving black man to who wants to build a relationship what are some things you could tell him about maybe his experience or your experience to get to that point be honest about as as much as you can comfortably be honest about and then be honest about not being able to be honest about it or not wanting to reveal it um yeah open up your mind your hearts you know don't limit yourself right how do you communicate does talking work does phone work better or does texting work better you mm -hmm. have to ask those questions like ask every fucking question you can think about mm -hmm. don't sit back and wonder or assume that you know everything based on based on a one word answer there's layers and nuances to everything be be willing to have the conversation you keep doing what you're doing and you keep getting what you're getting you need to change up some things maybe if it is changes in yourself mm -hmm. how you how you your mentality you know, um, you we have to break the idea that we have everybody has one or two bodies. Mm -hmm. You can find someone who truly loves and supports you, but if you aren't able to receive that love and express it with an open heart and compassionately and vulnerably, it it won't last. Right. You have to be willing to accept their uh, person's sexual past, and we have to be willing to also accept the baggage that comes of being traumatized multiple times as being a black gay man in America. We, we come with all this baggage that nobody wants to speak about, and I think that one of the biggest things that has helped me in my relationship is being available and open to hearing about the trauma from my partner. 
there was a long time where I felt like, you know, I guess when I was growing up, I only thought that maybe like, oh, well, only white people get all this attention. So maybe I should go for that. Mm -hmm. My first boy, like actual genuine, genuine boyfriend was white, mm -hmm. but he grew up in Baltimore. Like he, he was more, that was the most, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I ain't never seen someone really so Baltimore, Baltimore <laughs> in my life. You know, I'm from Annapolis, so right. I was chilling. Right. Like, you have to be willing to pick up the phone if I mean, everybody said, like, oh, it's convenience. Like, developing a relationship shouldn't be a convenience. It should be done with intention. You know, there are really good, genuine men out here other that are the same color as us or whether they're mixed race, you know, they could be Afro-Latino, they can be, you know, whatever. Right. We all have a story, we all have a background, and I feel like if you keep limiting yourself to one thing or a certain thing that you're used to, you're going to keep getting what you was getting before, which obviously if you're still single, it wasn't working. Right. And I, I believe that we can have lasting relationships in whatever form that manifests. Mm -hmm. They look different for each each couple or ruffles. But it's it's possible. Love is always possible.